located in the Plaza Roma, Intramuros, Manila Cathedral is the main Roman Catholic Church in the Philippines, officially known as the Manila Metropolitan Cathedral Basilica. It is the seat of the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Manila, who is normally regarded as the Roman Catholic Primate of the Philippines. Manila Cathedral is actually the eighth cathedral to have been built on this site, the earlier ones having been destroyed by earthquake, fire, or war, including an almost complete destruction during the Second World War. The present Manila Cathedral was designed by Fernando Ocampo. Ocampo applied striking mix of Renaissance, Neo-Romanesque and Neo-Byzantine motifs in building the new cathedral. The new Manila Cathedral was blessed and inaugurated on feast day of the Immaculate Concepcion, December 8, 1958. The facade is graced by statues of famous saints sculpted by Italian artists in Roman travertine stone. The statues of the old cathedral were made of mola v, a Philippine hardwood. Arcaded portals and semicircular arches, stylized acanthus leaves, rosettes, lentils, stars and attached columns are some characteristics of Neo-Romanesque and Neo-Byzantine architecture. It featured marbled floors, mosaic panels, arcaded colonnades, lovely columns and an immaculate conception-themed cathedral. His Neo-Romanesque design is a combination of revival, renaissance and modern styles. The present cathedral is a product of the old cathedral's great design mixed with Ocampo's architectural touch. The church's external appearance is characterized by round arches, thick walls and large towers. The interior was richly decorated, naves are spacious, the dome was raised on a fenestrated drum, and the arches are beautifully ornamented. The most notable structures inside the church is the wonderful Roman-inspired altar and the uniquely designed ceiling and carvings. In 2011 the bells in the bell tower were lowered to ground level to help prevent a bell tower collapse in any future earthquakes. The bells, weighing 17 metric tones, are currently the largest bells actively used in the Philippines. Behind the facade, Above the main entrance of the cathedral is the choir loft where the pipe organ and 12-leaf stained glass is visible. The magnificent four-manual organ by Pell's Organ Makers of Holland, one of the largest in the Far East, gives liturgical music for the services of the cathedral. Aside from being historical the Manila Cathedral is also a very valuable artwork in itself. Inside is a grand church filled with paintings and sculptures. In an architectural sense, the Manila Cathedral is characterized by a constant evolution of its identity, changing styles in its more than three centuries of history. In more than just a structure it has interwoven itself in the history of our country. It has witnessed history unfold in its surroundings and adapted to the changes in society. The various challenges that it has endured showed that in the face of adversity one can rise than what it once was, to become better and stronger.